What's up, guys? Welcome back. Happy Monday. All right. Here we are. Uh, today's video, today's stream is going to be pretty quick. Um, but I do have good news. I think, I think this Friday, I'm going to be talking to Bobby Hundreds from Project 70. Still got to confirm. I also think it might be a little bit earlier than usual. I will keep you guys posted this week on Twitter. Anyways, quick thing tonight because I I have a lot of different projects. I'm trying to juggle a lot of things right now. And I've told you guys, I mentioned it a couple times of, of really, I love the Friday night interviews uh, with the artists. They're just so much fun to hang out with, with uh, inspiring people. So that is going to be a focus for the live streams. And I wasn't really sure how many Mondays and Wednesdays I'm going to do. But today's Monday and I wanted to jump on because... There's just a couple things I wanted to tell you guys about, and I've been so busy working on them that I haven't really been able to talk about them that much yet. So, a couple things. Uh, we'll do tops first. So, my next tops card is Buster Posey, and that comes out on the 12th, which is one week from today, so next Monday. I will probably do a stream since the card will be live, do some type of launch stream, probably. Uh, if you haven't, didn't see, I painted that whole Buster Posey card live, start to finish on a live stream. I think that was a couple weeks ago now. And in the link down below this video, you can scroll down and you can see the link to that video and watch me paint that Buster Posey. So you're going to know, and that's exactly pretty much what the card looks like. Um, so that's cool. I had, uh, a very cool uh, interview today about the Buster Posey card and about my art in general with, I don't know, I don't really want to say the outlet, but it's a big outlet in the Bay Area um, covering the Giants, so that's exciting. Um, also, I thankfully, with the help of Tess and uh, really mostly just Tess, uh, we have been able to send out almost all of the free NFTs from the email sign up that we did a couple weeks ago. Uh, we, and this is like a good learning moment. And this is why I love like experimenting at scale with these NFTs. So what happened is uh, I minted what I called the Blake coin. And it's like a spinning 360 B logo as an NFT on a platform called Rarible. And the reason that I use Rarible is because they let me mint something once with a big edition size. On another platform that I like called OpenSea, you can do editions that are like, in, you know, you could do a one of 10 edition, but you would have to mint each individually. There's pros and cons to both. If you have to mint each thing individually, you pay a lot more in gas fees, which is basically like, it's the transaction fee. To upload an NFT. It's called minting. So that's why I chose Rarible because also in addition to the fees to mint these things, which I am giving out for free, I also have to pay to like send them to people. That's like the transfer fee. So I'm covering both, both of those, which is fine. And I am super stoked about this investment, but uh, that's why I use Rarible. So then what we did is Tess and I uh, divide and conquer. We made a list uh, of everyone who'd submitted their Ethereum key. Sorry, it's busy out there. Uh, randomized it. And we also did some inserts where we gave out other NFTs that weren't the Blake coin, but they are, they kind of look like Top Shot. So if you know NBA Top Shot, you would be familiar with the, the kind of layout and look of like this kind of cube spinning. And then it's got a video of me painting. Uh, a painting called Space Lady 001, which was the first painting of 2021 that I did this year. And I have that actually hanging in my hallway uh, in my apartment. Oh, and so those were basic, consider it like that was like getting a hit, getting an insert. And those, those were just randomly assigned to Ethereum addresses. So I didn't know who they were. So it's fun now seeing... Um, Tim Sternberg, I know you got a red one. Uh, my friend I haven't seen for a long time, Eric Brophy, got a silver, which is great. And uh, somebody got a gold, which is the one of one, and that person 
can redeem it on June 1st for the original physical painting. So what I'm trying to do with a lot of this NFT stuff is I'm trying to tie in real stuff to get you guys warmed up to it. And I'm trying to give you guys free stuff to get you like used to like treating that as an asset or currency or collectible. So I'm kind of trying to hit it from all angles and I'm having fun. So that's cool. Uh, so people who have the silver are going to get a signed print, signed a number to 23. Um, on June 1st and I specifically put it kind of a long time away because I hope that honestly I hope that the person like that gets the gold is like you know man I'd love a painting but I could really use money to pay rent and then like sells that to somebody that's really excited to get the painting and then they have money to pay rent I hope that happens uh, part of that is you know wanting to get my art in a lot of hands and more people know about me, but also part of it is one of the beauties of NFTs is there are royalties paid back to the creator of the NFT every time a sale happens. And so the creator, myself, gets to set that royalty percentage. So I set it pretty high for these free ones because, like I said, it costs money to mint and to send. So I, I basically need, uh, I don't know, I'm, whatever, we'll see. Uh, it's really not about like making my money back anyways, but um, I set the royalty high on purpose because I think that that's fair and will be fun to like see how that impacts how they change hands. Um, so that is the free NFT. And if you haven't gotten yours yet, but you did put in your Ethereum address, uh, if you could give us a day or two, um, we are just... Uh, we're finishing a batch of about 100 transactions. Uh, what happened is, um, I told you guys about gas fees. Gas fees is the transaction fee to send something ac across the blockchain, basically, to somebody else. And depending on the, the volume of how much stuff is moving around on the internet, uh, the gas price changes. And so what we did is we start, we were just copy pasting, copy paste, send to that person, send to that person, send to that person. And when you do that, you're basically, when you send something, you basically bid on gas. And so the transaction doesn't happen immediately. It takes a minute to, it takes like usually a minute or two to happen. So if we're copying super fast, we like logged up hundreds of transactions. And what happens is the gas fee went up and none of our bids it wasn't even really that none of our bids were high enough. It's that the one at the top that was like stuck next in the queue wasn't a high enough gas bid. So it just kept trying and stalling and it basically made all of them fail. So now we have to go back and send the last hundred again. And Tess is working on that. Uh, so if you can give us like 24 hours, 48 hours, uh, you should, everyone should see it in, um, in their crypto wallet. We, I suggest MetaMask, but you can use anything. And if you want to like see the content, I think the coolest place to look at the free one is on Rarible because then you can see the unlockable content, which is rarible.com. You can also see it if you go to opensea.com, which is the other platform that I really like. And honestly, I think I'm going to start moving everything over to that. And if I hadn't done such a big addition size because I gave out so many of the Blake coins, I wouldn't have done it on Rarible. I would have done it on OpenSea. So also to new artists, if you're doing stuff and you're doing low edition sizes or one of ones, I think OpenSea is a good spot to start. Um, uh, Gary, how do you get added to the N how, for the NFT now? So what you have to do, Gary, is you have to sign up for the email list. And there's a link down below this uh, in the video description to sign up for the email list. And then on the emails at the bottom, it says there's like on the emails you get from us, there's a thing that says, um, I think it's update profile. That's if you've already signed up, then, then you can like add your Ethereum address. If you're just signing up for the first time, click the link in the, down below and make sure to include your Ethereum address. It'll start with the number zero. Uh, and it's like a long string of letters and numbers. Um, let's see here. Four Leaf says his is orangey. So it's kind of a, yeah, it's like, I guess it's a little, 
it's kind of a pinkish red. But I, I could see how that maybe could look orange. I think it looks pinkish red. Um, Hinter says, Blake, that tweet about the new artist shouldn't be listing first couple pieces at one Ethereum was a big help, sold a few for cheap, and now I got a big head and listed for one F and have hit a wall, LOL. Uh, that's funny. Um, I mean, it's not funny, but like, I, I get it. Uh, to be honest, like when I was started selling NFTs, I was, I was really excited when I sold my first piece for one Ethereum because I sold a handful of pieces for less than Ethereum before that. And I think that's, and that's like really when, I mean, prices were going crazy at the time too. Now I, th I feel like the market hysteria has died down a little where, where people don't just want to buy an NFT just so they own an NFT because everybody could get one pretty cheap. Or free, I guess. Oh, nice. Giants home run to lead off the second by Ruff. I don't know who Ruff is. I need to, I need to like catch up on, on current baseball, especially Bay Area baseball with Buster Posey coming out right now. So that's fantastic. Uh, what's up, little Blake? Uh, what's up, Stan? Uh, Crypto Border asked if any have sold. So, uh, great question. Uh, to my knowledge, no. I'm, I'm not like super like uh, actively looking at my notifications on a Rarible. However, I do think it's encouraging that I had set it up in a way where I'd listed it as not for sale and then just transferred it to someone else. So when someone else receives it, it'll be de by default, it'll say not for sale. So people have to like actively go and click and put it for sale. And people have done that. So there's a couple... Uh, there's a couple that have been listed for sale for varying prices and that will be fantastic like really fun to see when when different ones get um different ones get listed and like you know it's totally free so if you sell it for like 0.1 ethereum that is like $200 right now that you could like take out and like have in US dollars uh if you use coinbase uh, which is what I use to like link my bank account to my MetaMask, Coinbase, MetaMask, dollars, Ethereum, dollars. Um, anyways, I think it'll be fun. The people that have listed them so far, I think it was like 0.5F, 1F, 1.5F. And look, I hope there's a day when, when they are, when the Blake coin is trading for one Ethereum and it's just interchangeable. Um, I don't know. I don't know if we're there yet, uh, but you know, I love to see. I love to see people try. So you never know. Uh, let's see here. Let's check out some more of these comments. Uh, oh, it's Giants first Padres. Nice. I should get that on. Uh, nice four leaf Scott. There's. Yep. What's up, mom? Uh, Matthew, no problem. What is up, guys? What's up, Brandon? Hamish, Alejandro, Brian, Jared, Matthew, EN Sports Cards. Um, do NFT Blake coins change on June 1st like ripping a pack? Garrison, that is a great question, and man, I wish that they did. Um, they won't change, but if you have a Blake coin, and this goes for any of the NFTs. Uh, if you look at it on rarible.com, which is where I minted it, and you look at it and you go to my items and then you click on the item, uh, kind of in the top right, if you're looking on desktop, you should see something that says unlockable content or unlock content. You can click on that, then a window will pop up and it's got some special stuff. One of the special things is a link to a website that the only place for the link is in the unlockable content for the Blake coin. You guys could share that link with your friends, but then it's no fun there. Then they're in on our secret. That website is more of a, that's like a living thing. So that what is on that site will change on June 1st. And that will be kind of the unlockable thing so that the coin itself won't change into something, but you will, you do have access to a site that will, I'm going to do my best to like provide an experience like that, where it's like, a fun transformation. I am going to also uh, 
I'm going to decide because I don't actually know what that's going to be yet. And I like that like I'm giving it some time because I'll think of a good idea later. But um, I will announce what the idea is, like how it's going to change beforehand. Because then like some of you guys might be like, well, I don't really care about that thing. So I'll just sell it and get Ethereum or whatever. And somebody else might say, oh, I really want that. So I'm going to buy it from somebody that has it. Uh, so that's kind of a fun, just a fun thing, I think. Um, and that's like, you know, honestly, I'd never had an opportunity where I could like reward. Well, I guess I could, I mean, I did to do like hey, buy my cards and then I'll and send me a receipt and then I'll send you a care package. So I guess that's kind of the same, but I don't know. It's different. Like being able to have like this commod, this like commodity of the Blake coin. Is it a commodity? Cause they're non-fungible, but they're interchangeable because they're all the same. I don't know. It's just funny that like this thing, uh, this 300, 360 degree logo is now going to be like traded in some capacity. Maybe only a couple of people do it, but I think some will. Um, and then like people that buy it will like get something in the future. That's just really fun. Like a scavenger. It's going to be like a big scavenger hunt. And like, I, I can tell you guys, <laughs> I can tell you guys this too. I also like, um, I've started putting Easter eggs in like a lot of my NFT stuff. And then like, as, uh, as I go farther down the rabbit hole, I'll start like talking about the early ones and then it'll be like a fun, uh, a fun game too. Uh, let's see here. Um, Oh man, little Blake asks if I like the Giants or the A's more. That's tough, man. I mean, I think it's a tie. Um, what's up, Stan? Uh, nice. Hamish sold his first horse racing NFT recently and have been following me too. Great knowledge. Cheers. That's awesome. Uh, congratulations. Uh, <laughs> Jake says he would he would sell it, but he doesn't. He basically, would sell it, but he wants to keep it. <laughs> um, why do I think of gremlins when people describe NFTs? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. It should uh, it should be fun? And like the secret page for the Blake coin is different than the secret page for the red, silver, and gold. So if you got Either way, you should check. Um, and if you end up with both, you should look at both because they're two very different um, different things. Uh, let's see here. I got to look at my notes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Also NFT based. And this is super cool. Um, so I'm participating in this group art show called Meta Versus. And it's sponsored by this company called Round 21. Yeah, I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of context because it's cool who I'm working with. Uh, Round 21 was founded by a woman named Jasmine who played uh, basketball college, then professionally, uh, in the WNBA, also overseas. I think it was an injury that she decided to kind of step back and, and start doing business stuff and then, and then was like really high level at like big corporations uh, like director of marketing or global director of marketing XYZ for like billion dollar brand. Um, she has since uh, kind of left that to pursue her own thing, which is called round 21, which is basically fusing uh, artists and athletes and like really focused on storytelling, all things that I love. And so they're sponsoring uh, an art show called Metaverses, which is, uh, takes place, what is it? I think it's crypto voxels. It's like, in, it's in the metaverse. So what that is, is it's like, it's a video game online, but you don't have to download anything. It's just going to be like a website you click on and you're just going to have like a little guy. And I, I already got to see the room. It's not live yet, like publicly live yet, but you just like, you just use your mouse to look around and your little keyboard to like, just walk around the, the little room. And, and there's art in there. And it's like, you know, it's, it's, a, it's an art exhibit. And so I have a piece in the exhibit. 
and uh, I also just listed it for sale on OpenSea today. It's going to be a four-day auction for this Metaverses kind of week. And it is a Muhammad Ali painting. And this one's fun. I love, like, I am impressed with my ideas sometimes. So with this token, the owner on May 1st is going to get a one-of-one one signed print on metal which I'm sending with, with uh, a lot of my one of one FTs are getting a print on metal. That's on May 1st. So the auction is going to end April 10th. And then 20 days later, whoever owns it is going to get a one of one print on metal signed, uh, 14 inches by 21 inches, so moderate size. And then a month later, on June 1st, whoever owns the token on that day can get the actual physical painting, which is like, huge it is 76 inches by 56 inches it is one of the biggest paintings especially portraits that i've ever done and it's super awesome so my thinking there is i hope somebody wins the auction somebody else buys it from them before the print comes out to be like i got i want to get that print bam gets it gets the print and then it's like all right i'll i'll cash out and like and then basically like essentially get a free print, right? If they sell it to somebody else and if they sell it for the same amount, uh, then somebody else comes in and buys it and then gets the original. Um, pretty cool. And yeah, it's just, uh, it should be interesting. <laughs> I don't know. I thought of it like last minute as I was minting it of like, I had already tied future dates to stuff, but I was thinking of like how after that future date happens, like I don't want the coins, to, the token to be uh, less valuable, I guess. I mean, it, it depends on pe how people perceive the value. Like there's also a ton of NFTs that don't come with physical work that are perceived super valuable. So that might be a silly argument, but I don't know. I just thought it would be fun to see how that affects everything. So that uh, is also linked down below this video. I will put, uh, let's see here. I can put it in here. I sent it to Tess. That bitly thing. There we go. Let's see here. Tess, maybe you can. Oh, there we go. I think I got it. Got it, got it, got it. All right. Billy bit dial Y slash knockout NFT. Then you can see it on Rarible. Or sorry, on, on OpenSea. Uh, also, this one has unlockable content, and I'm, I'm always trying to experiment. I think that unlockable content is one of the things. Putting unlockable content on a one-of-one one is going to be a big differentiator between like artists that are just out trying to sell their piece for a half an ETH and people that are saying, like, I'm gonna I, like, I will delight the crap out of somebody uh, for whatever they're willing to pay for it, I guess. Um, and let the market decide. So for unlockable content, I'm gonna start scaling it up hardcore on the NFTs. And so for this uh, Ali thing, we have the painting process video, which probably will end up being used for promotion. So most people get to see that. What they won't get to see until you, until you own the one of one token and can unlock it is a very extended uh, video of painting process. Like rather than things being in full time or like super, super fast time, uh, it's going to be like in real time and probably not the whole thing because I spent like it was like an eight hour session to paint that but it'll be like long chunks of like really seeing the process as well as me talking through some stories with making the process and it was kind of a ridiculous story of like kind of relating to photo selection um, but you got to own the NFT if you want to hear the story uh, I'm also I have like a ton of process photos just cool like artistic photos of, of the stencil or cutting the stencil that I haven't ever published. I'm gonna put those as unlockable content. And so the person that owns this, everyone will get to enjoy the art, the, the, the Ali portrait, but only the token holder will be able to see all kind of the deeper story behind it. And we'll see how that works. Um, and it's also up to them, like they could share it with their friends uh, and they probably will if they wanna like brag to somebody um, like flex, you know, but uh, I don't know. I just think it's it's cool. That's all. 
Uh, let's see here. Yeah, the Buster. We covered Buster Posey. That's on the twelfth. We. Uh, I also I recently painted Ricky Henderson. Um, I don't think it was a secret that he was on my list, uh, and that went very well. I had uh, uh, some people here filming that process, and that is going to be uh, made into a video and like an article. So that's going to be cool. I'll keep you guys posted on where that's dropping can't share but uh, very excited um, yeah and NFT wise like it's it's a uh, it's about to be a really cool and crazy week, crazy month so definitely a possibility that I'm gonna miss some streams I'll do my best uh, definitely with the Fridays once again Bobby hundreds I think we're gonna have on uh, Friday and I think it's gonna be at 9 p.m. Eastern 6 p.m. Pacific instead because that's when he could do it and I would rather do it live than do a pre-recorded video because then you guys don't get to ask questions even though I don't always get to like I'm not always good at reading them um yeah I think that's I think that's it guys uh but overall you know good start to the week hope you guys are uh I don't know enjoying baseball season you know that's that's cool that that's back I haven't watched a single game yet uh, it's just been it's been really wild once like I'd say by like April 15th uh, you guys will have a lot better idea of how I've been spending my time because I haven't really been able to share as much as I wish I could with you guys but soon anyways thank you guys appreciate you stay awesome